You're welcome back. It's still a new day, a bright and beautiful day. We have in our studios a very, you know, important person. Uh, today we are introducing a new segment. It's called Chamber, where we all get to learn a thing or two specifically about legal issues, things that concern us right here in our studios. Without wasting much time, I'd like to introduce the Motor Transport and Travel um, Department on regulations um, we take for granted that is what we are discussing today i'll take that again mttd on road regulations we take for granted that's what we're discussing today and helping us with this discussion is superintendent alexander kweku obeng you're warmly welcome Thank superintendent you. Thank how, you. how are you feeling today oh by god's grace <laughs> awesome right. That's good to know. So um, he's the head of education, research and training at uh, the MTTD Ghana Police Service. And so he's going to help us um, understand a thing or two about um, current issues um, happening between civilians and the police service today. So first and foremost, you know, day in, day out, we hear of, um, you know, news about criminals attacking uh, police officers and so and so. And now we hear that even uh, MTTD officers are going to be armed. How um, did you receive that um, information? All right, uh, thank you very much, and uh, good morning to viewers. Mm. Uh, I think, first of all, uh, I might sympathize uh, uh, and express my deepest condolences to my colleague compatriots who lost their lives mm. in line of uh, mm. uh, service to our dear country. Mm. And more so when uh, we, we recently trained them and deployed them so uh, from the department and therefore uh, we pray for uh, the family to uh, and they can be rest assured of our support uh, having said that I think that uh, nobody can call him or himself a police officer if he has not been uh, he has not attained, attained the age of majority and has not been subjected to the public screening uh, of enlistment and exposed to uh, training at uh, any of our uh, state police training schools across mm. the country and has not passed out an, an issue with appropriate accoutrement and hands-on how to use some of these accoutrement and equipment with a view of enhancing the, the Ghana state objective of uh, responsibility to protect mm. Ghanaians and also react in case of uh, uh, situations where uh, it is deemed uh, dangerous to the public health and safety. Yeah. Therefore, uh, uh, when uh, we hear and uh, it's come up for discussions that uh, uh, among other things that the state is considering mm -hmm. in adding to the equipment or tool of a traffic police officer uh, is a weapon. Yes, it is welcome because uh, it's not a new thing to the traffic police officer. Because first and foremost, uh, every motor traffic and transport department personnel mm -hmm. spread across the country in mm -hmm. all our 17 police regions. Mm -hmm. Uh, is first of all trained in a weapon before that person was uh, uh, trained also as a traffic police officer. Okay. And uh, what is required will not be difficult uh, to internally build their capacity, uh, refresh them, retrain them, and then continuously brief them in a way of handling it. Okay. And then using it consistent with the UN standard, which is incorporated in our service instructions regarding uh, uh, why you should use it, mm. uh, should be that principle of legality, and then uh, that principle of proportionality, mm. knowing very well situations where you have to deploy them, uh, know that all of us one way or the other, when the so firearm is used, you will be accountable. Mm. And so for us, it's not, it's not a, a new thing for us. Okay. Because there are instances that in traffic police officers that are deployed mm -hmm. at night and certain strategic location, one is 
uh, definitely uh, normally issued with a weapon okay. to support the team. So if it's going to be that, it's going to be the order of the day. Why not? There are a lot of uh, musketry instructors in okay. the police service, and there are a lot of resources okay. that will are there okay. for us to train. So, so it's not uh, a new thing. So, you, you mentioned that um, they, they, they go through that training, the MTT or TD officers, they go through training um, on how to handle arms and so and so before they actually and get they, on the field. Yeah. Do they have constant, um, consistent trainings afterwards you see, to well, know how all, to handle those arms? know where we are coming mm -hmm. from. Since that area, the use of weapon by traffic police officers mm -hmm. uh, on duty okay. uh, has not been the normal. Okay. Situation, and therefore, uh, knowing that the policing is contingent on the situation, mm. and if issues are coming up and it requires that the traffic police officer has to go back to the basics, because I said that at the basic training level, every police officer was trained in, in musketry. That is, we're four hundred and ninety. Okay. So, if it's come up that, then so of course, departmentally, the they, that they, that's all, this one also will be a purpose okay. training design. To, so enhance to enhance the capacity of the traffic police officer to handle it and use it appropriately. Appropriately. So what kind of um, arms are we looking at? Are we looking at AK-47s? Are we uh, looking at pistols? What kind of arms? Are? Yet. Okay. Early days, yes. Or are they getting the pepper sprays? What kind of um, arms are we looking uh, at? It is early days yet, so we have to wait for... So we are not yet sure what exactly um, our MCCD officers we are going to be? Whole, police has a whole range of okay. uh, uh, arms. Okay. So uh, appropriately, uh, those that are required for a traffic police officer to use, I think that will be made. Also. But but do, you, do what what exactly would those arms be? What what would they be? Oh, I think uh, we know arms and ammunition. Are, these are yes, but we, we the civilians would like to know. The people of Ghana would like these to are know. certified uh, weapons by the state used by the police. We have some yeah. have told us sidearm, and some are, some of them are assault among others. Okay. I, I, and let's let's know that this is not new to Ghana police service. <laughs> that this morning, for example, across the seventeen regions, we have deployed a lot of police officers. Okay. Uh, maybe unless you want to look at in terms of turnout. But in terms of policing, mm. uh, from many of our incendiary uh, patrol units across the country and operational units they are carrying weapons mm. some are even at the banks don't you see them mm. some are even patrolling our streets don't you mm. see them with weapons some are even sitting with dignitaries in their vehicle don't mm. you see them with weapons some are also everywhere carrying weapons and assuring the general public mm. of the state risk readiness Okay. To protect. So you are saying and that, that is critical for us. So, so you are saying that the MTTD officers should have um, weapons on them. Oh, what I'm saying is that the directive has gone. Okay. As to how it will play out, we wait. However, mm. it's 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 not lost on us that uh, in certain instances the traffic police officers may have to be covered by an armed duty officer. Okay. And so if some will be selected, trained, so that any time we are deploying traffic police officers to ensure there is in enhanced uh, public safety mm. on our road regarding the use of motor vehicles among others. Mm. Why not? That they have to be trained and equipped with it. Know, know that uh, in our country, mm -hmm. there are uh, members of the public okay. who are, not, are civilians, yes. okay. uh, uh, but have permits. And are holding guns. Yes. And they. Mm. Uh, 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 are we so much worried? So, if traffic police officer who has, first of all, has been trained okay. in weapon handling, okay. it has come up that he because should. of the exigencies, we are going to change our modus. We, there is going to be a paradigm shift okay. in terms of the tools we carry okay. along to include okay. a sidearm or whatever as mm -hmm. a rifle. Mm -hmm. Yes, we get the. You don't just give it to the person. Basically, but you, you train them. You have a, to a unit to handle, handle that aspect, train them, okay. take them to shooting range and build their capacity. Okay. Also, in when situations when they must use it. Okay. Though all right. I'm aware, all, all right. traffic police, all police officers are aware of that exercise. Okay. That you don't just carry weapon 
load it and aim it. Even aiming, <laughs> there are strict procedures. On yes, it. okay. So right now we have some concerns from some of the drivers at 37, and so we will take the concerns and we'll get back into the studio. From Achimoto overhead to new station, it's almost about four kilometers. Also being on that side, Kai Jinaho, passing a free baby ba or Faka or bus stop, no, I bet you drive any na police nini. Uh, we will be task for to number baby. Ta one task for the yeah, bus stop, sir. Can park no picking up no one call your station apart from teaching one bus stop. Or if it's in a if you know where you're in a bus stop, you need baby. And to baby, I need who say to me, you know, if you know where I'm not, you know, can't amount to you have a general school, you have a general share, you have a general C5, you have a general cool store, you have a police station, brigade. If you are banning in Arno, free Nungwa, a honor car, could see fair joining in our bus stop in New York. And so, who could you not be see another police at you? A chosen one million. Three, uh, thirty seven, I see who go, who do go, uh, a work, bus stop in New York, and over do a night market. Go home touch, I hold a bus stop walk, go jump a bus stop walk, so clinic bus stop walk, uh, Pawan, no bus stop. Free Pawan up to T Junction, no bus stop. Okay, so some of the concerns are that um, if there are no bus stops, why should they be arrested? How are we handling this? Why, why should people be arrested when there are no bus stops in place? All right, thank you very much. First of all, let me put on record that between January and July this year, for example, uh, about... Uh, 3,547 uh, road offenders were uh, arrested mm -hmm. uh, across the country. And upon investigation, uh, 2,720 out of the many that were put before motor courts okay. have been convicted. Okay. And so far, 15 are in jail, and the rest have been imposed with a fine of one million four hundred and sixty two thousand two hundred and twenty seven Ghana cities for varying offenses including what uh, is happening mm. and uh, and it also includes excessive speeding uh, unlawful okay. loading and uh, use of uh, rickety vehicles or vehicles okay. that are not insured or unregistered okay. or vehicles that are uncustom okay. and or those who are not wearing crash helmet among a varied or myriad of offenses okay. and offenders were put before motor court. And it is a typical challenge that we have across the country uh, of the behavior of most of these motorists, okay. both private and commercial, mm. and in particular uh, commercial minibus mm. uh, drivers who are operating within police urban areas. Uh, mm. What is it? But Superintendent Obeng, we realize that there are some of the roads that do not have bus stops, and still people would be arrested. That, at least that's one of the concerns we, we, that these, these I drivers was coming have, to it have that raised. Okay. Besides a typical example, mm. like the problem we have at 37. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, you realize that uh, there is a, a designated uh, lay-by for bus stop. Okay. Uh, drivers have, commercial drivers in mm -hmm. particular have. Uh, we intend to turn it uh, illegally into mm -hmm. a taxi stand, and some have turned it into a loading point, okay. uh, which is clearly against the rules mm. regarding the uh, use of the road in Ghana. Okay. And therefore, traffic police officers will always look out mm. and arrest drivers who have congested and are soliciting okay. at an unauthorized places like okay. where we are talking about. Yeah. Because bus stops are not meant for that. They, okay. Drivers are supposed to move to their terminal and stations and stands okay. and load. Okay. And so, alight passengers at these places and move on. But soliciting, shouting to yeah. attract passengers, waiting creating congestion for mm. their own colleagues yeah. will not be tolerated. And that's why I, that's I recited why the, they are arrested. the intention. So, and what so when you happen. arrest them, I understand that you, you may take some fines. Where do these fines go? Where do the, these sums of, of money go? Well, I said we Who is accountable for those? We arrest and prepare, investigate and mm. charge them appropriately before uh, motor courts. Okay. And the motor court uh, takes such a 
uh, he convicts and upon sentencing, mm. if the person is imposed with uh, fines, mm. the fine is paid to the uh, uh, to, into the consolidated fund, and those who are also convicted to serve their sentence in prison are handed over to the gola. Okay. And so, uh, for us, nothing comes to police. What is okay. important is that uh, what comes to us is that we have more decorous road users okay. who are not creating problem for themselves okay. and for others. Okay. Because in all, all our intention is to free the road so that it will make it so convenient for others to move in and out and again. Uh, in order to not to uh, expose others to danger in okay. terms of preventable road crashes. Yeah. So this okay. we, we, we continue to do. Okay. However, uh, let's also know that in policing, mm -hmm. uh, it's not, it's not a, a it's Christmas not. Uh, you know, gift. It's, it is, <laughs> it's sometimes uh, it restricts. Okay. It sometimes okay. uh, uh, inhibits okay. somebody who wants to commit and sometimes they don't take it lightly. Likely. However, okay. we need to ensure that mm -hmm. we stand on our feet. All right. And always ensure that people who are responsible okay. citizens also have the right to use our public space, including the roads, safely All to right. their work in and out. All right. That, thank you so much, Superintendent Obeng. We've heard it from him. Let's be more decorous on our streets. Let's be more decorous. Let's take responsibility and let's make sure that we are following the right road traffic regulations. Thank you so much once again. We'll